today we'll be reading a story, The Dinosaur That Pooped a Princess. So let's begin. Once upon a time, Danny was riding his dinosaur steed in search of a princess who longed to be free. But soon they were lost in fairy land. So they asked for directions from Gingerbread Man. Gingerbread Man, oh Gingerbread Man, show us the way we should go if you can. The Gingerbread Man scratched his gingerbread head. He thought for a moment, then suddenly said, I cannot remember, my brain's made of dough. But go ask the three little pigs. They might know. Then as they set off down the yellow brick track, Dinosaur ate up that gingerbread snack. They soon came across the three little pigs rebuilding their houses of brick, straw and twigs. Three little pigs? Oh, three little pigs. Princess needs help. Do you know where she is? The three little pigs made a little pig huddle. But they couldn't agree. They were all in a muddle. She's this way. She's that way. She's down there. They said, why don't you go ask Prince Charming instead? But while Danny worked out which road should be taken, the pigs smelt like bacon. So Dinosaur ate them. They soon found the prince at the Grand Palace Ball. He made everyone laugh, charm the pants off them. Prince Charming, oh Prince Charming, sir, Princess needs help and we can't find her. He gazed in the mirror that hung on the wall. Then the prince swished his head and announced to them all, The path of the princess's tower is scary and if you go forth, you need new underwear. He wrote down the way they should go on a scroll before dinosaurs swallowed that charming prince whole. With Prince Charming's directions, they started their quest past the troll on the bridge and the rotten earth's nest. Tippy toad past the dragon asleep on its gold. Fool the witch, easy peasy, she was all kinds of old. Tame the wolf in the woods. Swam the sea of quicksand, climbed the beanstalk and high-fived the giant's huge hand. But with Danny so focused on saving his maiden, how was he to know that his noble steed ate them? There it is, there it is, Danny called to his steed. It shan't be long now till the princess is free. Princess, oh princess, please let down your hair. We've come here to save you, but can't find the stairs. Danny shouted and called, but there came no reply. So he sat on the ground and he started <laughs> to cry. Just then an idea pinged in Dinosaur's head. Perhaps they could fly up the tower instead. With fairy tale creatures deep down in its gut, its brain made a wish involving its butt. It knew there was only one thing it could do to save the princess. It needed to like a giant poo fountain they shot up the tower giving fairy tale land a smelly poo shower it pooped orcs and trolls all over the place and the prince still looked charming with poop on his face Dino's bum huffed and guffed as he pooped out the pigs, blowing down their new houses of brick, straw and clay. The giant, the wolf and the sea of quicksand, the dragon, its gold and the gingerbread man. They flew higher and higher with poop-powered thrust and the poop was all sparkly like brown pixie dust. It crashed the roof in a mighty poo mess. Then out of the dust came one angry princess. My bedroom it used to be pretty and blue and now it's all gooey and dripping with poo. I didn't need saving. My home is this tower. Now I'll put this mess right with my princess girl power. 
she swished her wand and she clicked her heels too and then she sang liberty bopperty loads of magic appeared from the wand in her hand and the poop disappeared from a fairy tale hand we're sorry dan said for the way we behaved now we know not all princesses need to be saved the story is over the sun is descending but wait there's a twist to this fairy tale ending because dino had nothing better to do it swallowed the princess and pooped her out too i hope you enjoyed this story take care